Details to a weekend homicide. WWT6 News spoke with a friend who ran to help Suzanne Pope, her daughter, and Curtis Goodwin. Don Grenice was back near 39th in Kansas today and joins us now with more. Don? John, as you know, Pope was shot and killed inside of her home. Family believed that this was a robbery gone wrong. Curtis Goodwin was also shot critically injured, but it was his quick thinking and the aid of a friend and neighbor that possibly saved his life and Pope's daughters. I would describe her as a beautiful person and stuff like that, you know. Because, I mean, she's just down earth, sweet girl. At a vigil held outside the home where she was killed, Suzanne Pope's uncle told us she was a great mother. They respected her. If the kids had trouble, like homework or something like that, she would talk to them and help them with it and stuff like that. And other than that, she laid down the law with the kids too. Early Saturday morning after someone broke into their house, family members say Curtis told his stepdaughter to lock herself in her closet, ultimately saving her from the shots that were fired. I seen Curtis laying right there by the bush there. Dexter Burton heard the shots and ran to help his neighbors and friends. He was bleeding real bad. And his wife, she was laying up in the bed. Um, like she was sleeping peacefully. Dexter says he called 911. He and his girlfriend were trying to stop all the bleeding. See if we could get a pulse, you know, but it was a faint pulse. Goodwin would be taken to the hospital, but Pope didn't make it. What man just shoots a woman in her sleep? Yeah. Yeah. After what he went through this weekend, Dexter wants to move on and try to forget the things that he'd seen. He just hopes the families affected can possibly heal from this as well. I'm sorry I couldn't do more, you know, but uh, I will keep you in my prayers. As Omaha police continue to investigate, family tell us what they've heard. They say the couple owned a business where they installed audio equipment into cars. They believe the couple was targeted as thieves were looking for either money or expensive audio equipment. We're live in downtown Omaha tonight with photographer Adam Preister, Don Grenice, WOWT 6 News. And we have